Hi, in this video we will present and explain in details our IoT project. We will start talking about the general network architecture in order to understand how all the devices and services work and more important, how they communicate with each other. At the center of the whole network there is the home catalog, a REST service that provides configuration information for all the connected devices and services. Every actor on the network requests a configuration file to the home catalog in order to boot up properly. The home catalog also keeps track of the connected devices so that in any moment it can provide a list of reachable devices. This is possible thanks to the MQTT communication protocol. The home catalog, in fact, makes a subscription to all the devices. The MQTT broker is the core of the MQTT communication protocol. It resides in the Raspberry. It receives messages on a certain topic and sends these messages to whoever is subscribed to that topic. Let's now take a look at how the devices can communicate inside the network. A device can be a sensor, like a temperature, humidity or a gas sensor, or it can be an actuator, like a relay or a motor. The interface between the device and the network is provided by the device actuator class. It contains the code to actually read or write data at low level, for example with a Raspberry or an Arduino. It is a class that exposes only two methods, the get state and the set state. A service that wants to read or edit a device status only have to invoke one of those two methods. In particular, each device has a REST and an MQTT service. The REST service provides through the GET and POST method to read or edit a device status. The MQTT service instead is used only for publishing the status on the device topic. This periodic publishing will also be useful to the home catalog to keep track of the active devices. It serves as a keep alive message. Both these services, upon start, request the device configuration file to the home catalog, then create a device actuator object in order to communicate with the sensor or actuator itself. Let's now take a look of all the services available in the network. The vocal control service allows the user to control the status of a device through speech. Invoking the controller with the word Raspberry, the user will be presented with a list of reachable actuators and has then the possibility to change the status. The scheduler service allows the user to schedule actions. They can be the status change of a device, a message, or also the activation of a certain alarm or other control strategies. Each action can also be programmed to be repeated over a certain interval. With situation control service, it's possible to create a preset situation that will execute multiple actions upon calling. For example, a wake-up situation that with a single command turns the lights on, activate the toaster, the coffee maker and the blender. Or, for example, the going out situation, that with just a click will turn off all the lights in the house and activate the house alarm. The alarm control service responds with a certain action to determine events. An example is the movement detection alarm, which turns the camera toward the active peer sensor, turns the light on, and sends a message with a photo to the user. Another alarm can be the gas presence or a temperature alert. The same service can be used to set a constant house temperature, triggering the heat when the temperature is below a threshold. The Node-RED dashboard is an easy way for the user to keep everything under control. From the dashboard, it's possible to activate and deactivate an actuator, an alarm control strategy or a scheduler. It is also possible to control house variables like temperature and humidity through an indicator or a chart. The dashboard is public and can be accessed through an address given by the NGROC service. The IoT bot is another way for the user to control everything in the house with the Telegram bot that offers all the features present in the dashboard. The Telegram Messenger is a REST service that allows the services in the network to send messages to a certain list of users. That's how, for example, the alarm control service can send a message to the house owner. Every service, like the device, needs to contact the home catalog upon booting in order to retrieve all the necessary information. Every time a service needs to get or edit a device status, it has to go through the home catalog that continuously keeps tracks of available devices. So each service will be able to communicate with a device. The three main control services, ARM control, situation control and scheduler service, can also communicate with the Telegram messenger that can send a message to the user. Each service also has proper topic. The activation of certain alarm situation and schedule is performed with a message sent to the MQTT broker. So let's first of all run all the services. And ad hoc scripts have been created in order to do so automatically. We see in the first tab the general services, while in the second tab there are two services for each device. 
all the REST services are in the left column, while the respective MQTT services are in the right column. In order, we have to gas sensor, the peer sensor, a relay switch, a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, and then the welcome service and the speaker. So here, in the first tab, we have the home catalog service, the ngrok service, the telegram bot, the telegram messenger service, the alarm control service, the situation control service, the vocal control, the node write dashboard, and the scheduler service. Let's now take a look at the dashboard made on Node-RED. Node-RED is based on Node.js and is an easy way to create fully functional dashboards. It's based on blocks. Each block has a specific function, for example, an HTTP request, a subscription to a topic, or the MQTT publish on a topic. There are also JavaScript blocks in which the data can be modified. Connecting the blocks is possible to create a dashboard like this one. Here, we can keep track of the house temperature, humidity, and all the other available sensors. It's very easy to add a new gauge for new sensors. In this section of the dashboard called sensors and actuators, we also have the switches for all the devices connected in our house. In the live view section, it's possible to have a near real-time webcam preview. In the sensors charts section, we can have a look at the progress of our house sensor values with charts. In the strategies section, it's possible to manage all the strategies. There are the alarm strategies, the control strategies and the schedules. For example, setting up the going out control strategy will automatically turn on the motion detection, while setting up in the house strategy will disable all the other strategies and also disable the motion detection rollup. Here we can take a look at the Raspberry connected to a router with the Ethernet cable. The Raspberry, other than being the MQTT broker, also have various sensors connected. Here we have a temperature and humidity sensor, a peer sensor, a gas sensor and a relay switch. Here is an example of turning off and on again a light using the dashboard. Here instead we can see the gas sensor exposed to a lighter gas. This naturally turn on the gauge on the dashboard. We can now talk about the Telegram bot. When starting a conversation, it will show us a list of possibilities. We can check a device status. It can be a sensor or an actuator. We can check and edit the status of an alarm, the status of a control situation. It's even possible to get a live photo of the webcam. It's possible to change the status of an actuator and also to get the public core of the dashboard in order to use it everywhere. We will now see all the possible options, starting from checking the available sensor status one by one. The speaker does not have a real status, so all it will say is alive, meaning that it is connected to the network. We can check the alarm status and change it if you want. We can edit the control situation status. For example, setting the going out situation on will turn the light off and the movement detection alarm will turn on. The opposite happens when the in-house strategy is activated. Check a camera will give us the list of all available cameras from which to take a photo. In this case, only one is available. We can edit an actuator property. For example, changing the relay status will turn on and off the light. The public dashboard org is a random string generated automatically by Ngrok service. So a service, like in this case the Telegram bot, is already necessary to retrieve its value. With the dashboard available and functional everywhere, it's even easier to control every device in the house thanks to the more friendly user interface. Let's try out the vocal control. Raspberry. Hi there. I am looking for available switches. Available switches are 1. Main light in the bedroom. 1. Main light in the bedroom status is on. Do you want to turn it off? Yes. Copy that. Main light in the bedroom status is off. Thanks.
It's my pleasure. Let's take a look at the home catalog. We can see that all the device's configurations are in a list called device list. The IP field of the device is filled by the home catalog when the device tries to retrieve its own information. The actuators, like in this case, have a list of parameters that can be changed. Each parameter has a name and some possible values. The API for each device is the portion of information that is passed to the services by the home catalog when a service needs to contact a specific device. As with the devices, there is a list of services. You can see here, for example, the alarm control configuration file. It has a list of alarm strategies. Each alarm strategy has a subscription to one or more topic, and if the value published in one of the topic is equal to the one inserted, the action will be triggered. The list of actions executed can be of three types, an HTTP request, here called POST, a Telegram message, or an MQTT publish. When the alarm is triggered, all the actions in the list will be executed. In this way, it is easy to create a set of new alarm strategies. The situation control and the scheduler work in the same way. The situation control performs a list of actions when it is activated, with an MQTT publish, while the scheduler is activated by the time.